Well, the 2022-23 NHL season has concluded, but that only means it's time to switch gears and focus on the year ahead, which means we can expect some big trades to make some waves over this offseason. There are some big names circulating in the media right now and a lot of speculation on where they would be moved to. So in this video, we're going to explore and break down the top six NHL trade rumors right now. Alexi Lafreniere. Alexi Lafreniere, selected as the first overall pick by the New York Rangers in the 2020 NHL draft, was expected to become a prominent scorer. However, after three years, the 21-year-old left winger has struggled to live up to expectations in New York. Lafreniere excelled as a left winger in junior hockey, but the Rangers already have Artemi Panarin and Chris Kreider occupying those positions on the top two lines. Attempts to convert him into a right winger have been unsuccessful so far. Following the Rangers' elimination from the Stanley Cup playoffs in the first round, doubts were raised about Lafreniere's future in New York. He is approaching the end of his entry-level contract and lacks arbitration rights, yet he is seeking a salary increase from his current annual average of $925,000. Trading Lafreniere carries the risk that he may thrive and reach stardom elsewhere. Considering the Rangers' desire to win in the present, they could potentially acquire a more established scoring right winger by parting ways with him. On May 6th, it was reported that the Vancouver Canucks had expressed interest in acquiring the 21-year-old player from Quebec. Nine days later, Matthew DeFranks of the St. Louis Post-Dispatch suggested that Lafreniere could be a trade target if the Blues are looking to move one of their lower picks in the upcoming draft's first round. Taylor Hall After being acquired by the Boston Bruins prior to the 2021 NHL trade deadline, Taylor Hall quickly established himself as one of their key forwards. As a result of his contributions, the Bruins rewarded him with a four-year contract worth $24 million in July of 2021. During the subsequent season, Hall showcased one of the finest performances of his career, amassing 61 points in 81 games played while playing as a left winger on the team's second line. However, in the 2022-23 season, he faced setbacks due to lower body injuries, causing him to miss 20 games and experience a decline in production with 36 points in 61 games. Nonetheless, he managed to conclude the season on a positive note, recording 8 points in 7 postseason matchups. Heading into the offseason, the Bruins find themselves in a challenging salary cap situation with an estimated $4.9 million in cap space for the 2023-24 season. This has has led to speculation that the 31-year-old Hall could be a potential trade candidate to alleviate the cap constraints. It was suggested by The Athletic that the Bruins may explore the possibility of moving Hall to create much-needed cap space. Jimmy Murphy from Boston Hockey Now referenced a source speculating that the Bruins might engage in some roster adjustments during the summer, with Hall being among the players considered for a trade. While Hall's average annual salary of $6 million could present challenges in finding a trade partner this summer, it does provide cost certainty for the next two seasons. On top of that, Hall has a no-movement clause that prevents his demotion to the minor leagues and a 16-team no-trade clause, which will transition to a 10-team no-trade clause as of July 1st. UC Soros According to Michael Gallagher from Nashville Hockey Now, the Los Angeles Kings were reportedly interested in acquiring goaltender UC Soros from the Nashville Predators before the trade deadline in March. However, the Kings were hesitant to meet the rumored asking price of two first-round picks and more. Knowing all that, it's clear that the future of the 28-year-old goalie in Nashville might be uncertain under the management of new GM Barry Trotz. Trading Soros would be a significant decision to make. He has established himself as one of the top goaltenders in the NHL over the last two years. He was even a finalist for the Vesna Trophy last season and concluded this season with impressive stats including 33 wins and a save percentage of .919 placing him among the league leaders. Barry Trotz could potentially choose to move Soros if he aims to rebuild the team's roster. However, there have been no indications so far that he intends to do so. It is possible that he may opt to retain his starting goaltender, who is currently under contract until the 2024-25 season with a reasonable annual cap hit of $5 million. If Trotz were to play Soros on the trade block, there would likely be considerable interest and he could fetch a substantial return. Nevertheless, with Soros signed to two more seasons as their starter, the Predators GM can afford to take his time before assessing the goaltender's value in the trade market. Eric Carlson 
Eric Carlson's performance this season presented a mixed bag of results. The 33-year-old defenseman had a standout year, earning a nomination for the James Norris Memorial Trophy by notching a career high of 101 points. He became the first defenseman in 31 years to reach the 100-point mark. However, his team, the San Jose Sharks, struggled and finished the season near the bottom of the standings. The Sharks' ongoing rebuilding process led to frequent speculation surrounding Carlson's future throughout the season. San Jose's GM Mike Greer indicated his openness to entertaining offers for the team's top defenseman. However, since the conclusion of the regular season, there has been no notable buzz connecting Carlson to potential suitors. Although Carlson is likely likely to remain a subject of interest in the upcoming summer trade market, his contract brings up some challenges. He possesses a full no-movement clause, but might be willing to waive it for an opportunity to join a championship contender. However, his contract's hefty average annual value of $11.5 million until the 2026-27 season could deter many teams from taking on his financial burden. To facilitate a trade involving Carlson, GM Greer might need to retain a portion of his annual salary to make the contract more affordable for interested teams. Another possibility is exploring a three-team deal to distribute the salary cap impact provided that a satisfactory return is received. Assuming the financial aspects can be resolved, Greer's asking price for Carlson could present challenges for most teams. The Sharks GM is not inclined to simply give away his best player. As a starting point, he could seek at least a first round pick, a promising prospect, and a talented young NHL player in return. Mark Shifley According to a report by Elliot Friedman of Sportsnet on June 3rd, the Winnipeg Jets are open to considering trade offers for centers Mark Shifley and Pierre-Luc Dubois, as well as goaltender Connor Hellebuck. All three players have one year remaining on their contracts and will become unrestricted free agents the following July. Speculation about potential shakeups in the Jets' core group emerged shortly after their early exit from the 2023 playoffs. Elliot Friedman noted that the team is not looking to undergo a complete rebuild, but would be interested in returns that can help them build around players who have longer terms on their contracts. Trading Shifley could be a challenging decision for Jets general manager Kevin Dayoff. The 29-year-old center was the team's first round pick in the 2011 draft after their relocation from Atlanta to Winnipeg and has since became the face of their franchise. However, both the Jets and Shifley might benefit from a fresh start. Shifley carries a cap hit of $6.1 million for the 2023-24 season and possesses a 10-team no-trade clause, which could slightly impact his trade value. Nevertheless, his outstanding performance this season with a career-best 42 goals could still make him an attractive trade option this summer. Potential destinations for Shifley include the Boston Bruins, Carolina Hurricanes, and the Detroit Red Wings as they are in need of center depth. Another option could be the Calgary Flames as it may be possible that they decide to part ways with Elias Lindholm. Alex Debrinkit just prior to the start of the 2022 NHL Draft's first round, the Ottawa Senators made a significant move by trading three draft picks, including their 2022 first round selection to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for Alex Debrinkit. Now, one year later, the 25-year-old left winger could be on the verge of another move either before or during this year's draft. Debrinkit's commitment to signing a contract extension with the Senators seemed uncertain back in April. As a restricted free agent, he is one one year away from becoming eligible for unrestricted free agency. His current contract carries an average annual value of $6.4 million, but he earned $9 million in actual salary during the past season, which is the amount required for the Senators to qualify his rights. Ottawa Senators GM Pierre Dorian stated that he intends to qualify to bring it. In the event that the winger rejects the qualifying offer, the Senators could potentially take him to arbitration and seek a 15% reduction on that offer. Elliot Friedman of Sportsnet reported that the Senators have been exploring all options with the Brinkett. However, Pierre Lebrun of TSN indicated that the winger's agent provided the Senators with a list of preferred trade destinations. Lebrun speculated that Nashville, Vegas, Dallas, and Detroit may be included on that list, considering the Brinkett's roots in Michigan. 
As a two-time 40-goal scorer in Chicago, Debrinket would undoubtedly attract significant attention in the trade market. It remains possible for him and the Senators to reach a mutual agreement on a new contract. However, if Dorian decides to trade him, he will likely aim to send the winger to a team with which Debrinket is willing to sign, ensuring that the Senators receive a valuable return in the process. Thanks for watching our videos. Don't forget to hit that like button and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.